Hey everybody, this is Dave, and today we're going to set up our Krios Meteor smartwatch. Now this watch I got from Indiegogo. It finally arrived a year later. Uh, it had some issues, and now the somewhat been resolved. So I have the watch here, and when you first look at the watch, it says here, install the Krios app at krios.com forward slash setup. Down here at the bottom, uh, let me take this out of the, the case, actually. And here at the bottom, you'll see meteor 29 fo in my case and then if you switch over you'll see meteor 29 fo and it might say le where it means low energy and that's the bluetooth that uh, you can connect ant plus uh, or you can have notifications and it runs low power so that it doesn't kill your battery so this has two bluetooths in it i think uh, and you can just switch among them just to see what they look like now this watch is useless unless um, you use the app in order to configure it. I have the app on iOS and I have it on my uh, Android device, my um, Droid HD. So there is a way to bypass it. Now if you press the left button, then you press the top, the bottom, the top, and the bottom, uh, all in that order, you will bypass this setup with app screen. But remember, if you wanted to reset or if you wanted to try to connect to Bluetooth uh, high energy, let's call it, uh, you won't be able to until you hit the bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom in order for you to activate the Bluetooth again. Um, so just keep that in mind. But if you do want to bypass and you just want to use this watch by itself without an app, you can go ahead and do so by doing it that way. Now let me tell you a little bit about the watch. Now first of all, in the unboxing, I didn't show you that it came with two screen protectors. But that's uh, pretty useless. I, I don't like using screen protectors but I guess if you were gonna go hiking and you know you were traveling and mountain biking or something you would want to put a, a screen protector on so here are the buttons this is the up button in the menu up button down button and you select up and down with these buttons here on the right on the left you have when you click it once you'll go into the menu button once you click it again it takes you back a step the bottom button is the actual select button and it also acts as a press and hold for Siri or for Google uh, Voice in order for you to activate that. So just keep that in mind as I press the buttons, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So they say to set it up with the app. If you didn't do the bypass and you want to use it with the app, then go right ahead and follow my instructions. Now the important thing is make sure you charge this fully before you do anything. And I also recommend keeping it in the cradle because I tried to activate this out of the cradle and it just works so much better when it's in the cradle for some reason. Um, so I, I advise that you either plug this to your computer's US powered USB or some USB hub or even a power brick as you do the setup. So here I'm going to show you the differences between the Android and the iOS app. There's not much of a difference but there are two things that I have to show you that are quite important. When you first open up the app, you sign in with Facebook if you like, or you can create an account by clicking create your Creos ID. And then you just put the email that you want to use plus uh, a password and then you repeat the password and you're all set. So let's log in. We'll log in for the first time um, you know, after setting it up. And it's going to be searching for devices. Let's take a look on, on this part here. And this will ask us to sign in. But I'm going to show you there are some differences. So let me go ahead and sign into this. Okay, so I logged into both devices. And it's saying that it can't find the Bluetooth. So let's go to settings for iOS. And we're going to swipe down and click on Bluetooth here. So we'll turn the Bluetooth on, which is already on, and you see here Meteor um, 29FO. And that is the Meteor. Um, and then also on Bluetooth on iOS, you'll see that it will search and it will find the Meteor 29FO. And it also found the low energy because on the iPhone, uh, it, uh, you can use the uh, low energy. And uh, what I would do is I would pair to both of them. But let's go traditional route by using the app. Now remember, have this plugged in, uh, being powered up. So let's go here, 
and it will tell you to connect. So we're going to search again. And over here in iOS, we're going to go with setup, setup watch. So let's continue on now with one device. Uh, basically, they're both the same thing. Uh, but I want to show you the differences, like I said. See, now it found it here. So uh, before we go any further, let me go and show you the difference between Android. Android has home button that instead of just clicking here to get back home. All right. So it has a dedicated home button. It also has a settings button, which will allow you to set what notifications you want. With iOS, you can't do that. It's either all or none. It's whatever you find in your all screen here. Okay. The, uh, that's the only, really only difference. Uh, there's panels on both sides. Watch disconnect date and time, silent alarm, update firmware, personal information, setup, and logout. That's exactly the same on both devices. And like I said, um, there, there's only slight differences in the left panel. So let's go to the home on both. Okay, so um, we're going to um, do the setup watch here, like this. So they both basically look the same. So we have Bluetooth turned on. It found uh, both of the uh, Bluetooths on the iOS. But as for some reason on here, it doesn't show. Maybe you only have to connect to one uh, Bluetooth. Uh, so now let's keep an eye on the Creos watch. Now, so we're going to hit next. And then I have connected my meteor. And now it sees the meteor there. And it will connect to it. And once it connects, you're going to see the watch change. Come on, buddy. And there it is. So it's going to say pair and you hit pair and it turns on and automatically the notification that I have in here shows up. Let me uh, get rid of it. All right, so that notification, now if I get another notification, it'll pop up. You could just hit the uh, back button and it comes out. Now it says battery is fully charged. So uh, keep it connected. And now we're gonna hit next and then we're gonna hit next again and it's gonna update the meteor, uh, the firmware. And uh, or actually, I think it's just updating some statistics. I don't really think the firmware is updating. Uh, you'll have to go in there manually to do it. Actually, yes, it is. Uh, it says firmware update. Do not uh, do any operations. Now, I have to warn you that this, set, this update takes a really long time, at least 15 to 20 minutes. So let me let that do its thing, and then we'll come back, and I'll show you... Uh, some of the features on the watch okay so now the um, iOS device has updated and now it's at its latest version and now you can see that the up firmware upgrade is done so let's take it out of the crate I'll show you it says firmware update done and we'll go back and we got that notification there uh, the, pop up and we exit. Now, when we <laughs> exit the Creos, um, the first thing you find is activity, then you find sports. Let me angle this so you can see it. Then you find activity, you find sports, and you scroll down to music. That's your music control. It does work with Pandora and other apps. Uh, the only thing that doesn't work is the play and pause button. It pauses, but it won't play again unless you skip the song, which is a little weird. There'll be a skip. Actually, I'll select it and I'll show you. Uh, please pair your phone. <laughs> Silly. So uh, we're going to go clock, then calendar, and then it has smartwatch, um, stopwatch, and then timer, and then digital wa uh, face, and an analog face, and then it's got the settings. In settings, it's got date, time backlight so you can adjust the brightness of it volume you can adjust the volume that siri uh, speaks through the speaker that's up on top here and then you go down bluetooth font uh, you could change it to 
normal or large or international, uh, which probably change it to metric, and factory reset, and about. So let's see the about. Please pair your smartphone. All right, so we get watch connected, but it says please pair. It doesn't make sense. So let's hit set up again. We'll hit next. We'll hit this. We'll hit next. And now it's saying it's updating again. All right, so there are some bugs in the app. Uh, my recommendation, if you're having problems, just close it out in background. All right, and then reopen it again. And it will re-sign in and it'll help you to get paired back up uh, to your device. Let's see if Bluetooth has recognized it. And we will see in Bluetooth. And it says Meteor LE is connected, but the other one isn't. The high energy, let's call it. So we're going to connect to high energy and we'll see if that connects. Sorry about the foghorn playing in the background. Um, of course, that is still trying to pair. We'll let it do its thing. All right, let's turn it off, turn it back on, and see if it pairs. We'll pair to the high energy first. There it is. So it paired up with the low energy. And now the high energy is connected. See, there is some Bluetooth uh, connection issues, but, you know, it is what it is. So now you have the face, and you can change the face to different face covers. And you can go back, and we'll hit sports. Uh, it'll show you overall activity. You can do sports, and it'll give you the running or cycling. Okay. Then you can go to music, and music will allow you to control the music app uh, if I don't have any songs uh, connected here. Uh, let's go back into the app. Oh, actually, I do have a song. So this will pause. If you're using your iPod, uh, the built-in iPod music player, and then you hit play and nothing happens. Maybe it's just taking a long time, but if you hit next, it'll go to the next song. Let's see if we hit play. All right, there's obviously something wrong with the play button. Uh, like I said, it's very buggy, this app. Um, in here, you can just... Your watch is connected, everything's set. I don't know, it's a little weird, so let's just go back. It's not really that great. As a matter of fact, they promised a gyroscope, a six-axis uh, nonsense. It's not true. There is no way that this thing has any kind of gyro sensor activated. It may have it, but it's not working with the current firmware. So we got the clock, um, and you could change, you know, your clock, and then you could see all different times around the world. Uh, let's scroll down again, calendar, and uh, I haven't even tried the calendar. Stopwatch. And you got the timer, and you got digital and analog faces. Uh, you know, you can investigate a little bit more. Now, I'm having the giveaway, so don't forget. Uh, the next video is probably going to be the giveaway video, because I have the extra one just for you guys uh, with a bunch of accessories. So you'll enjoy that. So let's go back. Now, I have to tell you, I do not recommend this watch. I'm sorry to say, uh, at its current firmware, it's uh, not working great. The app is horrible. Uh, I'm used to using RunKeeper, and you know the thing talks to you. It uh, you know shows you a map of your activity, and uh, you know it's just uh, an amazing app. And uh, they have that Orbit uh, band that you can get for uh, RunKeeper, and I think that's just the way to go. Uh, this right now, for me, is practically just a watch. Um, you know, you talk to Siri. Oh, let's do Siri. All right, so you're in your home screen, and now let's do Siri. No, you, that sound is horrible. So it hears me with the microphone. Let's see. No, that, 
Yes. No, the speaker. That's too painful to listen to. Now, I don't care what kind of firmware you have, this is not going to be fixed. Uh, the reason it sounds like crap, and I know it, is because they try to make it waterproof, and it uses sort of like a coracoid uh, speaker instead of a traditional speaker that you find on, uh, you know, watches and devices that are not waterproof. But to tell you the truth, from what I read, this thing is not waterproof either. So I don't know what they were doing for the last year. Maybe, uh, you know, they were partying and uh, spending all of our, all the backers' money. But they obviously didn't put it into the watch. So I'm sorry to say, do not recommend this. But if you want to still do the giveaway, go right ahead. But anyway, this has been my setup of the Creos Meteor smartwatch. Maybe in future firmware releases, things will get better. Maybe third-party apps will be built. Maybe jailbreak apps will be built to make this thing work better. I'm not even sure the update went through. Uh, you know, I got an error message. I don't, I don't know. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I apologize. I don't usually talk bad about companies, but when you make people wait a year and you give them garbage, that's what you get. So, have a nice day, and I will see you on the next video. Thank you.